Hello, Galeplay here, giving a review on Lost Ark. I have over 300 hours played on my main, just recently hit tier 3. Let's get started with positive things about Lost Ark first. Free to play. Lost Ark is free to play MMORPG. You can fully experience the game without spending a single cent. But some of the late game progression is a long, tedious grind when you are a free to play player. Still, it's an amazing amount of content you can do for free even if you don't push it into the max item level. Combat Lost Ark combat feels really good and responsive. Some longer animated attacks feels really impactful with excellent animation and spell effects. Dodge button is one of my favorite aspects of Lost Ark combat, making boss fights way more tactical compared to Diablo series. Dodge having own cooldown, you just can't spam it, use only when necessary. Lots of content. Leveling from 1 to 50 was really boring and easy for me, but at that level 50 the game really opens up a lot. At the end game some of the stuff you can do are Chaos Dungeons, which are similar to Diablo 3 Rifts, where you have tons of easy mobs to grind and some mini bosses on the mix. Chaos Dungeons are fun, fast content to do, but lacks any challenge and after a while can feel like a job. Guardian Raids, which plays similar to Monster Hunter World, where you take on different bosses, solo or up to three other players. Similar to Monster Hunter, you can't see enemy health and some bosses have different parts you can break. For me, one of the best content Lost Ark delivers at the end game are the Guardian Raids when experiencing it for the first time. But after you farm them for 20th time on your alt, they are getting really repetitive. Rapport system where you grind reputation with different NPCs and when you get enough rapport points, you get various rewards. And finally those NPCs join your stronghold. Stronghold, stronghold are like mini side game where you can send your crew to missions craft stuff and place buildings on your island. It's very similar to Genshin Impact's teapot system. Stronghold UI and overall feeling is very mobile game-like, which I don't like that much. Crafting in this game is really basic compared to other MMOs where you mostly uh, craft different potions and consumables. Islands. Every island has own theme, puzzles and story to tell. My favorite story-wise content is the islands. No need for NASA computer. Graphically, Lost Ark isn't next-gen looking, but for old Unreal Engine 3 game it looks and plays really nice. Even 10-year-old gaming pieces have no problems running Lost Ark well. Animations are some of the best in ARPG genre I have seen. Alt friendly. Lost Ark is one of the alt friendliest MMOs I have ever played. A lot of progression is roster wide, that means in game term for account wide. It's even good idea to make alts to progress faster with your main character. You can give your honing match to your main. PvP is not pay to win. In PvP your gear, skill points and stuff are normalized. What that means? You can't get any advantage versus players who haven't spent a dime. PvP so far has been fun experience, but there are certain classes that are worse on PvP. It's fresh take on MMO genre, where usually it's more matter of gear advantage than player skills. And now about the bad sides 
of Lost Ark. Pay to win. While Lost Ark is free to play, it has elements of pay to win, or in this case, where you can't get gear advantage on PvP, it's more like pay to progress faster. It's clear that they really want you to spend money to progress, because how awful honing chances are in late tire 2 and tire 3. Story Tone of story in Lost Ark is all over the place. In a moment it can get really serious and dark, but then it suddenly switches to silly mode. Some of the English voice actors are great, while other ones are really poor. It's hard to take Lost Ark story seriously. There are great moments, but often those get wasted with silliness. Visual diversity of gear. Lost Ark is really lacking on visual progression of gear, while leveling 1 to 50 there are like two different looking armor sets per class, and after that every tire from 1 to 3 has one different looking armor set per tire per class. Same tire blue gear looks same as legendary armor. Gender locked classes. Classes are gender locked like in Black Desert Online. Some of classes have gender counterparts like Striker and War Dancer, but still having differences, so they aren't totally copy and paste. No transmog. I'm a mod that doesn't have transmog system in 2022 feels really bad, even more so that there are almost no variety in armor whistles as free to play player. It's clear that they really want to sell those skins at marketplace. RNG honing. Tire 2 and Tire 3 honing chances are really low and this is going to be breaking point for many free to play players. Grinding 2, Guardian Race and Chaos Dungeons with every alt every day gets really tedious and when you finally have enough materials to hone it fails and you feel like you all day playing Lost Ark is wasted. Here is all the pros and cons. And my final score for Lost Ark is 8.5 out of 10.